So let's move to the second second messenger. And now I want to talk about the cell membrane phospholipid. And when we talk about the cell membrane phospholipid, we are talking about this guy. Phospholipid C is an enzyme. With the cyclic AMP, we talk about adenyl cyclase. And here we have this guy, phospholipid C. So you have your hormone binding to a receptor, again activating G protein as usual. But in this case, the G protein will not activate adenyl cyclase. It will activate phospholipid C. And phospholipid C catalyzes the conversion of phospholipid inositol diphosphate to inositol triphosphate PIP2 to IP3 IP3 or inositol triphosphate is our guy this is the second messenger and what this is doing one it actually um, cause changes in intracellular calcium levels and once you have increasing calcium levels within the cell you actually have a biological response. We will see the example later. But again, the same system, you know, when the phospholipid C activate the conversion of PIP2 to IP3, it also have another product associated with IP3 known as diacylglycerol, DAG. And this guy will activate kinases. Now we go back to kinases. You have inactive kinases being activated to kinases. And here you have a particular kinase known as um, um, kinase C, protein kinase C or PKC. Sometimes it's called PKC. But what you need to know is you activate a kinase and the kinase is a phosphorylator. And once you have phosphorylation, you actually have a cellular response. So this is how you get a response. So now you see what the cell membrane phospholipid second messenger system does. What are the examples? Angiotensin 2. But in this case, when it activates receptors in vascular smooth muscle. But we also have catecholamines. But in this case, alpha cells, alpha receptors. When it activates alpha receptors, you know the differences when you talked about the adenyl cyclase, cyclic AMP system. And you have vasopressin in vascular smooth muscles, not in epithelial cells anymore. So you can see the differences. And then you have these all other hormones. And it's easy to tell. These hormones are actually produced by the hypothalamus. You have the releasing hormones, but you also have the hormones of the posterior pituitary. These ones are secreted by the posterior pituitary, but are synthesized by the hypothalamus. So you can easily tell what are the examples of hormones that utilizes or act through the um, cell membrane phospholipid second messenger system. And you should note uh, the differences when you talk about the angiotensin 2, catecholamines, and vasopressin. So the last one, the calcium calmodulin second messenger system. As the name implies, you have calcium. So what happens is you have changes in permeability to calcium. So you have increased influx of calcium into the cells. You know that calcium has a lot of intracellular actions. But the question here is, what really bring about this increase in calcium permeability. One, it can either be due to changes in membrane potential. We know this. When you have influx of sodium, you have generation of action potential. Sometimes this will increase permeability to calcium and calcium will move into the cells to bring about muscle contraction. But as we said, you also have a hormone receptor complex and then you have activated receptor that will also change the permeability to calcium. Calcium will get into the cells and bring about a biological response. So, what happens when calcium is in the cell? So, in the cell, calcium will bind to a protein known as calmodulin to form what is known as a calcium calmodulin complex. As it is for a hormone receptor complex, a calcium calmodulin complex is an activated entity. So when this is activated, it actually initiates multiple effects within the cells. And these effects can either be inhibition or activation of protein kinases. Again, the kinases, the phosphorylators. And you know once you activate the kinases, you have phosphorylation or dephosphorylation happening. And whenever you have phosphorylation or dephosphorylation, you're basically having activation or deactivation. What is a good example? A good example is activation of myosin kinase to cause smooth muscle contraction by directly acting on smooth muscle myosin. 
So this is a good example of the calcium call modeling second messenger system. So now we have explored the second messengers. Now let's talk a little bit about the hormones that act mainly on the genetic machinery of the cell. As we know that these activate the genes and usually you have a hormone receptor complex and you initiate transcription, you have changes in protein, eventually you have changes in biological response. And here we do have our guys, steroids and thyroid hormones. And we will get the details of this later.